Welcome to our lecture online. So, the end of the dinosaurs occurred about 65 million years ago. But what does that have to do with the miracle of life? Well, of course, there was already a lot of life on the Earth. But for almost 200 million years, the dinosaurs ruled the surface of the Earth. It didn't leave a lot of chance for any other type of animal to exist because the dinosaurs were simply too big too ubiquitous and too capable of slaughtering anything else in their, that came into their region or in, in, in their um, habitat, so to speak. We, did, we do know that there were small animals, such as mammals, around, but they were essentially just food for the dinosaurs. Just recently, they discovered a skeleton, and for the first time, they actually found contents in the stomach where the stomach was within that skeleton they analyzed the bones in that region there and they realized that they were potentially the bones of mammals the first mammals that existed during that period of time but again they were essentially at the bottom of the food chain and any animal any dinosaur came along was simply feasting on those things they really didn't have a chance to survive much beyond the few little niches in the in nature that they could find and try to stay away from the dinosaurs but then what happened 65 million years ago? Well, there was an asteroid about 10 miles across that ended up slamming into the Earth. Where did it do that? Somewhere off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. It left a crater about 100 miles across. This was an enormous impact, so much so that enormous quantities of material were thrown out into the atmosphere and blocked the sun for probably several years. Temperatures must have plummeted. Vegetation simply died due to lack of, to, uh, lack of heat and lack of sunlight. And the food chain just completely broke down and the dinosaurs essentially ceased to exist during those few years. It allowed mammals then to survive. They, they were able to eke out an existence in those very cold, very poor conditions. And because of their ability to stay warm, they were warm-blooded animals, we presume. They had a furry coat so they could keep warm, and they were able to survive and then take over the world, so to speak, after the demise of the dinosaurs. Remember, dinosaurs ruled the world for 200 million years, and that all came to an abrupt end with that huge impact that happened about 65 million years ago, then allowing the other life forms, especially mammals and birds and so forth, to exist, to be able to survive without the competition from those monstrous dinosaurs. And that's when life began to develop quite differently. And that's eventually when we came around. So we essentially owe, owe our existence, the mammals and us owe our existence to the fact that dinosaurs were wiped out from this world 65 million years ago after being around for 200 million years. That's an enormous amount of time and other life just simply didn't have a chance to come to the forefront because of these tremendous animals that roamed the world for so long. So if you ever think about why do we exist, in large part because that huge meteor about 10 miles across, happened to slam into the world 65 million years ago and set about a chain of events so that we then could exist free from the onslaught of the dinosaurs. Something to think about.